Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see a tour of Heroes app which is provided by the Angular team. Let's search for a tour of Heroes Angular. Open first link. Come to the solution section. See here are the links for live example and download example. Let's first click on a live example. Here click on the open a new window. See Heroes app is running. Here showing top heroes. Now click on Heroes link. See here is the list of heroes. Let's delete some heroes. Whenever we perform any action immediately showing some message log. Let's add one new hero. See added successfully. Now click on the newly added item. See here we can update if we want. See here update log also printing. Click on dashboard. Let's search like Iron Man. See it's suggesting. See every time log is a pending new log also. Here is the button to clear all logs. So we are just demoing Heroes app. Now let's see how to download this example and how to run it locally. Click on download example. See it's downloaded successfully. Let's import this project to IntelliJ. See here I already imported. Now before run we need to add node modules also. So first let's run the npm install command. Installed successfully. Now let's run ng serve command. Compiled successfully. Let's open this in browser. See it's running successfully. Now let's perform all the basic operations as we did just before download. See here also working same as earlier. See here even his website also added screenshots for all the possible scenarios. Now let's see what are the things Angular developer coded for this application. So my suggestion is like instead of looking for other tutorials first go through this application. First, let's open package JSON file. See here is the application name, description of this application, basic scripts which required to run this application. See here are the dependencies like core, forms, router, in-memory web API. See here are the dev dependencies like Angular CLI, TypeScript, Jasmine. Now let's open the Angular JSON file. See here under assets they are keeping two, like favicon and assets path. See here under styles they are referring local styles CSS file, so like that there are many properties. Now open src folder. Open index.html file. See very simple only contains one root component, open main ts file. See they configured environment related code and app module and there is a condition so if the environment is production then only enable prod mode, open style CSS file. So whatever UI related things you are seeing that all is showing because of this file. Open app folder. Open app component TS file. See this file contains the only title like a tour of heroes. Open app component HTML file. See here the title is coming from TS file. They are keeping two routers like dashboard and heroes link. Router outlet so when you click on any link then inside this outlet putting the component. And app messages so whenever any click is happening. It is showing some logs so those logs they are keeping inside this. Open app component CSS file. So some navigation related CSS code. Open app module TS file. So if you aware default structure about this module, then see here the added forms module, HTTP client module, HTTP client in memory web API module, routing module and other things like components and service. See here importing all the modules. And to import data at the beginning itself so here they are invoking in memory data service. See here are the component declarations. The bootstrap component is app component. That's it about this file. Now open app routing module file. See they are keeping all possible routes, similar way we also did in our routing video. 
That is the standard way. See here is the hero model. It contains only two fields like ID and name. See this is the service class, which is handling all the CRUD operations and API communication related stuff. See here is the HTTP client and HTTP headers, RxJS. See here is the URL like API heroes. Setting HTTP options like it accepts only application JSON. Get heroes method. It will return hero array. Here is the method if in case of user render hero and which is not available. Get hero by ID. Search heroes. Add hero. Delete hero. Update hero. Here is the private method handle error so if there is an error this will take care. Whatever log message you are seeing that is coming from this private log method. Open in memory data service TS. So, this class implementing in memory DB service, which is the part of in memory web API. See here they are creating DB, and here generating ID if the user enters the new hero. Open message service. See they are pushing message to messages array, and when you click on the clear button, it will empty the array. Open mock heroes TS file. This they are using for testing purpose. Now let's open dashboard folder. Let's open dashboard component file. So here ng on init we are calling get heroes method which will communicate to hero service and get all heroes and keep it on hero array. Open dashboard HTML. See here they are iterating hero array using ng4, and preparing links so when you click on that link it will redirect to the detail page of clicked hero, and down they added app hero search component that's why when the page loads it shows the menu and search text box, open hero detail folder. So like the previous component when we click on any hero so after that it will redirect to this component. So using this input they can get the clicked hero object. Here is the constructor. And ng on init calling get hero method. And in get hero, they are fetching hero object from get hero service method. So this goes back will redirect back to the previous page. Open hero detail component html file. Here they are showing hero object detail. Open hero search folder. Open hero search component ts file. Here they are using some more rxjs classes like debounce time, distinct until changed, switch map, subject. Here for search terms, they created a subject object. Here if you observe an ng on init, a little description about rxjs classes, like debounce time. It will wait 300 milliseconds after each keystroke before considering the terms. Distinct until changed, ignore new term if same as the previous term. Switch map, switch to new search observable each time the term changes. I hope you got some idea about RxJS classes which used. Open heroes folder, open heroes component ts file. Here ng on init they are calling get heroes method. Get heroes will fetch all the hero. Add method. Add hero using add hero service method. Delete method. Delete the hero from delete hero service method. Open heroes component HTML file. See here they are iterating all the heroes. When we click on X icon it will call delete hero method. Open hero search component HTML file. As per the search value, they are showing all related hero. Open hero detail component HTML file. Here they are modified and using save we can save updated value. Open messages folder. Open messages component ts file, see not much code available. Open messages component html file, using a clear button we can clear all the messages. And here inside div, they are iterating all the messages. That's it about this video, for more detail you can download this code and modify it as per your requirement.
Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.